Hello and welcome back to the Bald Book Geek. After some technical issues, everything should be working now. Let's hope and pray. This was meant to be a video and it wouldn't export, so it's audio. I apologise, but hello. Now, Hollywood. Mainstream Hollywood. Mainstream Hollywood has descended into idiocy in the last few years, to the point that everything is either another remake, a reboot, a gender swap, a race swap, a this swap, a that swap, a sock swap. <laughs> I mean, it's this endless stream of recycled content where nothing new is offered, and it ends up becoming this whole of idiocy of Disney doing another remake of another great classic movie being retooled for modern audiences or even a video game being retooled from for modern audiences and it's boring it's boring especially if you grow up with the original the latest news is that they are doing tv reboots and remakes of harry potter and twilight so i want to say this harry potter we have some great books we have some great films. Let's leave them there. We know why this is motivated, by the way. The same with Twilight. Leave it where it is. Don't... Let's not recycle this. It's been done. They were moments. They were history. And let's... Why not put out a really nice remaster or extended cuts of the original films? Just putting that one out there. It's... This is just ridiculous. And a side note to the remaster, why not fix the CGI in the first Harry Potter movie? I mean, that's not a good-looking movie in HD. It didn't look great when it first came out. Just saying. I mean, we know why they're doing this. It's money. Nostalgia and money. And I think nostalgia bait has become this ridiculous thing. And it's become this... It's become business, and a lot of these, everything is made with a financial eye, regardless of what people say and how artistic and creative it is. Everything is made with a financial eye. And the problem is, a lot of studios are trying to recoup losses and save their own skin. People are not engaging with the content because it's not that studios are not producing content people want to engage with. For every great show like The Terminal List, there's Rings of Power. You know, it's one of those <laughs> situations of, let's redo it, let's remake it, let's take another property. The biggest red flags you will ever see in any article on a remake or a remaster is redone for modern audience. Modernity is an extremely dangerous thing and ultimately ends up in a sinkhole of generic remakes and content. And things are doomed to become content for streaming services rather than anything else. And, you know, when you look at the numbers on these, if it was network TV, they would have been cancelled a long time ago. Disney Plus is also struggling, and its endless stream of Star Wars, Marvel content and so on isn't helping it. So they're trying to grab the nostalgia of the millennial generation and recreate the magic with remakes such as The Little Mermaid, which honestly looks atrocious. So, I said this at the start of the video, is that these remakes are purely to save themselves, but we already have great movies and great memories. Love them or hate them, people have memories to these, and maybe people don't want to see new actors playing Harry Potter, or new... Actors coming in and replaying the Twilight characters. Maybe people don't want to see this stuff anymore. Maybe people just want their nostalgia and what they had. And I completely understand that. It feels like with Disney and other companies that just are buying the rights to these properties and redoing them and remaking them and Amazon and Netflix and all of this stuff. And it started with that god-awful 2016 Ghostbusters film. The it just becomes this cash cow, and when they fail or they don't meet expectations, they blame the people they're trying to buy. Blaming the audience for your own failure, 
because some t and I will say this, the casting of the original Harry Potter films is perfect, and I can't imagine any other people in the role, and I don't think I'm alone in thinking that. You have these great characters, these moments, these memories, and they're being recycled, and people would rather just watch the originals. It honestly just feels like Hollywood is out of ideas. Creativity seems to be an all-time low, and ultimately it's causing problems and franchise fatigue is also not helping matters things like the mcu which it seems to be getting worse and worse as it goes on it should have ended with endgame we don't need more bait and swaps we don't need these terrible movies coming out that do no business like the film industry is in trouble because it's not making the content people want to engage with and ultimately that's unfortunate I think the age of originality is gone, and even video games that are being remade and countlessly recycled, it's like over and over and over again. I don't want a remake that's air quote remade for modern audiences. I, I want the original remastered and maybe cleaned up a bit. I'm sure there's a market for that. So, ultimately... You end up in the situation where everything just feels creatively dead. And when the audience can see through that when it's a hollow entity. When it's purely a cash cow. And studios trying to make money out of things. Like, we don't need remakes of these films. We don't need reboots. We don't need endless stream of content based on existing franchises. There is great books out there. There is other material that's crying out to be adapted that won't get the chance. I mean, J. Kristoff's Nevernight would make a fantastic series, but if you want a female empowerment story, that they won't do it. So, ultimately, the endless stream of remakes, rem remakes, reboots, and whatever in between have ultimately signed the coffin nows for many mainstream companies, and these companies are not doing well right now. People want to be entertained, and maybe not recycling the content that you seem to recycle over and over and over to make another cash cow, you know, keep milking that cow to its dead, I suppose. So tell me what you think in the comments below. As always, I will talk to you guys later, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day.